This is the third consecutive year these two teams have come to the Big Ten Conference opener undefeated and ranked in college football's top ten. The weather today, light rain off and on throughout the day. It's 51 degrees as number seven, Penn State, challenges number one, Ohio State. Kenyon Rambo and Jonathan Wells. Travis Thorny will kick it off for the white clad Nittany Lions and the game is on. From the seven yard line, Rambo. Out across the 25, the one senior among the top eight in the trenches for them. Wide receivers, you have to dig deep into your thesaurus to define Boston and Miller. They will have a size advantage working in the Penn State secondary today. The backs, Michael Wiley, ran for 209 yards against Missouri here. And they've got prime weapons, Miller and Boston, to the outside for the first snap. And Jermaine hands it away to Wiley. Wiley finds daylight on the left side of the line. He got a good block. So far this season, there are no timid souls in that group. Number 43, Brandon Short, is the leader of the linebacking core. You might want to keep an eye on number 11, Arrington. He's becoming quite a player. And the defensive backs, we've indicated, they're a smallish group. The corners, King and Macklin, are 5'8 and 5'9. The free safety, Lee, is 5'7. And they'll be rotating new, bigger people in there today. The ball is given to Matt Keller, the fullback. And Matt Keller, so that gives them three. He is in there with Boston and Miller. And they go the other way with it, with Keller carrying in three decades. Jermaine back, takes the pass, takes the reverse, wants to let it go. Lions won't give him a chance. Good today, and that's doubling. Oh, you got that right. <laughs> With two. Jermaine's pass to the sidelines is incomplete. Branch is one of those young burners waiting for the ball. There's a little bit of heat on him. He gets it out of there, and Branch has a little bit of room. Now he runs out of time, but shakes one tackle. He broke that one tackle. Penn State on the left side of the line. Wedderburn and McKenzie are two houses. They're big. <laughs> the rest of them up front are also over 300 pounds, except for Fagan. Joe Nastasi is a steady guy. Corey Jones has been uh, sharing that wideout position with Chaffee Fields. The backs and Nittany Lions do not have that big old thumping tailback right now. Cordell Mitchell, however, is a slashing runner and has done quite well. And Mitchell has the ball, and he's dropped for a loss. Moores as a true freshman at tackle starting today. Number 79, Ryan Pickett. He's replacing Clinton Wayne, who has a sole leg. In the linebacking core behind that front four, their speed and aggressiveness. And Katzen Moore, of course, is the better known. I'm still waiting to see a better secondary than this one. I mean, they are really good. Amen, brother. Second down and 15 for the Nittany Lions. And the quarterback gets it in the air. The pass is Corey Jones. And so Kevin Thompson, 15 yards on the play, third down and two. They go to the fullback, Sarah Melly, and Sarah Melly will not get the first down. No pressure. The kick is away. It's a good kick. Rambo with Ruth. Got by the first one, but Hello. the second one hit him right <laughs> on the number. <laughs> Super and sets him up with Wiley deep and drops back to throw on first down. To the sidelines to Boston. The pass is incomplete off his hand. There's an acre of open ground out there. Jermaine wants to go big with it. He goes down to Miller. Miller is in a struggling match of that pass interference. But, but it's, yeah. yeah, there wasn't a lot of pushing in seven, but his hand. Wiley, who was a receiver as a freshman, goes outside, and he's tripped up over there. But wide to the bottom now. That's Michael Wiley, who's flanked out there again. So this is a new wrinkle the Buckeyes have not shown so far this come. season. Here comes the blitz, and it's Keller with the ball, trying to sweep it. And it's Macklin. Who Today's ball game. Three wide outs here in the shotgun, and Jermaine back on third down. Let's it go into the middle. The pass is caught by Miller. The ball remains steady. Jermaine. Drops the ball, has to cover it. Number five, Brad Schioli. Second down and uh, 17. Thrown to the sidelines, there's a man over there. It's Michael Wiley out of the backfield. Got uh, tangled up with some of his own people and couldn't get to the spot. Why we go back to a field that's still firm, but getting wetter. And it's Boston, the man in motion. Jermaine back, pressure coming, dumps it off. Ball goes to Wiley. Wiley trying to get outside. Can't do it. Third down and 19. Short trying to pop through. Can't do it. Jermaine steps away from the pressure. Now he needs a little help. He's got the first down. Uh, that's the wild card right there. Penn State 30 yard line. Uh -oh. 
Prior to the snap, full start on the offense, five yards, still first down. Call this a light drizzle, partner. It depends on what part of the country you come from. Michael Washington. <laughs> <laughs> second down and five. You're sitting in front of the fire. Yeah. Right. Down to the 21. I figured most everybody knew it. <laughs> Arrington almost got caught. They get Wiley behind the line of scrimmage. Trying to give the Buckeyes the lead here in the first quarter. On its way. He missed it. And they go to work first down, just short of their own 23-yard line. Hand the ball off to Cordell Mitchell, who bounces outside, and there's nobody there for a long time. Who in the backfield now on first down for the Nittany Lions, and they're on the Ohio State side for the first time today. The ball is thrown to the outside. The second down, and call it eight. Thompson back. Little play action to free it up. The ball tipped in the air. Cut! By Shafi Field. Kind of a play that got him loose on that 60-yard touchdown run against Pittsburgh. Here they come. And now there's contact. There's this move. No flag. No play. Second down and 12 for Penn State. All right. That's a pretty good play right there. Third down and 17 for the Lions. Cordell Mitchell is back in the backfield. Kevin Thompson's pass is away to the sidelines. And... How do you do, Mr. Need right here. Just kick it high off the instep. Let it wobble around. Let it wobble around. That's a pretty good kick. Tail dragger, though. If they don't cover it, it go to the end zone. Look out. And they get it down at the one-yard line. Oh, that. Penalty flags again. That ball is kicked into the end zone. But let's see about this flag. Yeah. So they go... Comes Wiley. Pretty good coverage. So we have no score in the first quarter, and we'll return after this message and the word from our ABC station. On second down and eight. Swinging out to Wiley. Well, that looks a little bit like some of the stuff. Well, the Middies are having a good go. Out of the shotgun, Jermaine has time. His pass is away. His man is wide open. David Boston, first down, Buckeye. Miller's the man in motion. And Wiley has the ball. We'll move Lumpkin up to the top of the picture there. It's been available. Back to Wiley. Trying to run in behind Lumpkin. And <laughs> got him a warm reception, too. Third down and six. Jermaine's pass is away down the middle. It is D. Miller who on the Penn State 30. First down. Jermaine hands it to Wiley and coming from the outside is Fumbly and uh, he took him right down. So it's second down and ten. Jermaine back. Good protection goes underneath and Wiley dropped the ball. Third down and ten. Wiley's up one. They got him in behind the line of scrimmage. Oh, it's boy. Schioli again. Schioli say hello there. So it's 50 yards. And the wind's not going to help him. And it continues the light rain. Oh, that's a high snap. And they drop it. And it's picked up by the Nittany Lions. King has it, and they throw him out of bounds. The one-yard run that won that game for him over there last year. And Thompson's pass is away down the middle. It is incomplete intended for Nastasi. Second down and 10 from their own 47-yard line. Handed off to Cordell Mitchell and Niall Diggs. The cable or satellite company if you'd like pay-per-view. See what they've got. Back goes Thompson to throw. The pass is caught this time right on the money. He's the senior. First down for Penn State. First real threat of the ball game, and it's Mitchell. Thompson's pass is thrown poorly. Thompson's pass quickly to the sidelines, caught by Corey Jones. The holder is Chad Krell. He's a quarterback. It's a 42-yard field goal try for the lead. Got it, 
And a penalty flag. Hold it. Hold it. Going into the kicker. Defense. Now, Penn State goes to the lead. Three to nothing on a 42-yard field goal. Passing than, than Penn State is. They want running defense and special teams. The kick is to the one-yard line for Jonathan Wells. Whoa. To the ground game now we go with Joe Montgomery. Montgomery is a thumper. And he changed the tempo a little bit. They gave him a first down on the play, and they just wedge it to the left side. But Penn State is slowing him down today. Jermaine back. Case. Now he's got room. He's got to have the first down. The pursuit is from LeVar Arrington. He reached in there and punched the ball up. Well, the Penn State defense is working very well. Now they got Riley going outside again. Back to the throw and catch stuff. And that ball is thrown away. Joe Montgomery is back in the backfield. He's got the ball. And in traffic. Throw it to Montgomery. Two guys over there. Three, four, and uh... And Grant is waiting. I got the ball. That's not going to get out of the way. Another well, takes an Ohio State roll and will roll inside uh, to the 13 yard line. Who is the man in motion? Turn and hand the ball inside. That's Aaron Harris's first carry of the day. Aaron was so leg, but in there. Thompson back, gets the pressure. Ball comes out of his hand. Rolling around the end zone. Touchdown, Ohio State, Ruzinski. Five to go in the first half of the Buckeyes. Get a break. They lead seven to three. For Joe Paul until that point right there. Ball hangs up. And it's accepted back at the 10-yard line by Peter Pettigrew. And now the crowd for the first time today starts to come alive. Being heard from Cordell Mitchell he is the beat man. Penalty flag. Prior to the snap. Both starts on the offense. Five yards. Still first down. There's Into the Mitchell. Buckeye defense now. Buckeyes leading seven to three. Thompson back over the middle. It goes and it is caught by Concho Brown. Ball out on the 33-yard line now after the first down. Ball is handed away to Mitchell. Second down and eight. Thompson back. Let's it go and it's slapped away. Incomplete. Third and eight. Brown in motion. Run it with Mitchell. Stop it. Go a little room. Mm -hmm. Put two guys on those speech keys now. And the hot man coming down the field. One of them got loose. Rambo's looking at him. Now he's going to outrun him. Get around That's the corner. Starry Adams. Look out. Some room. And he's out of bounds to stop the clock up at midfield. Ten yard line for this snap. Joe Germain rolling out. Trying to buy a little time. Steele is after him. The pass is away. The man's there. Down on the 35 yard line. D. Miller. More to it than that one. And my body's got a funny quiver. <laughs> Jermaine rolling out. There's a takedown. Now oh, that's holding. I'll guarantee you folks that play won't count. But by big old Tyson Walter. First down and 28 now. With a minute and a half to go. Jermaine back. Protection's good. Pass is complete. D. Miller. Miller's still going. Still going. Oh, he's something. Just keeps going. Second down and eight. Jermaine's pass is slapped down at the line of scrimmage. Germany and Rambo. On the field. Underneath. Oh my goodness, that's almost intercepted. Fourth and eight. Bing. Bullet. D. Miller. The uh, defensive backs and made the play. And on first down, Jermaine goes down the middle for the tight end, and he didn't hold. 
Sold it. Incomplete. It's second down and 10 with 35 seconds to play. Hand it off to Keller. And Keller, the fullback, lunges to the sideline. Haven't scored yet, though. Miller's back out there. The man looks down the middle. Goes to Wiley. Touchdown. Here's Dan Stokes for the extra point. And on a cold, rainy day, it's 14-3, Ohio State. Ohio State will kick off. Through the Lions. Balls lifted up. And it's taken at the 12 by Pettigrew. And like you said, that drive took forever. They'll run it with Mitchell. Coming up the middle, and uh, they apparently are willing to go to the clubhouse. Uh, well, I thought Penn State held up very well. Ohio State did get one late to lead 14 to three at halftime, and here's John Sunder for Penn State. Stokes gets a good one. It's two, three yards into the end zone for Grant, who's coming out. Mistake down at the 14-yard line in the backfield. And Sarah Melli, like Sarah Melli, it's Sarah Melli on the first carry. Yards per game. Kevin Thompson back to throw it, swings it out to Mitchell, and Mitchell is cut down. Hot. Moore creeping in, Damon Moore on a blitz coming in, but he didn't really blitz, he just sort of crept into things. <laughs> Waiting for Ohio State. Buckeyes ought to come out of here with pretty good. They block it! Ball's in the end zone, touchdown, Ohio State. Percy King blocked the kick. Kick is good. And it's 21 to 3, just like that. The score team. He almost caught that thing right in the bread basket. He almost <laughs> took it off his foot. <laughs> yeah. Kick Kickoff. Branch and the crew waiting. Branch circling. Muffs it. Picks it up at the 11 yard line and runs it out across the 22. Dale Mitchell is behind him as the deep back. Uncle Brown is in motion. Give it to Mitchell. And Mitchell gets away from one, two. And nice run by Cordell Mitchell. Yes. Stay with the run. Up to the 45. <laughs> Second down and seven. And the pass completed to Shafi Fields. Third down and two. <laughs> Here comes Moore. Passes away, and it is incomplete. Pigeon's punt. No pressure. Rambo circles under it. Runs away from one. And got up to about the 19-yard line. And Murphy snapping the ball at center. And uh, Penn State almost jumped, but they move back now on the shift to the tight end to the other side and give it inside to Michael Wiley. And there's nothing there. Of, uh, taking those guys away and forcing Ohio State to go somewhere else. There's one down the middle and so it is intercepted by David Macklin. Nice play. Yeah, almost. Kevin Thompson going big. Nastasi got it. Down one yard line. Not a touchdown. Sarah Melli. There's a touchdown. So Mike Saramelli takes it and muscles it into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Nittany Lions answer. Yep. They'll stack them up and then shift them out. And it's a pass play, folks. Throwing. No. Corny 
Hits it. Hooked it. It's well out to about the 25 from the 26 yard line. Now first down for the Buckeyes. And they run it inside. Michael Wiley. Second down and five. That's what pressure on the quarterback will do. Come plays, Keith. Passes away, and they complete it again, and they get a first down out of it. And John Lumpkin finally got one thrown where he could catch it, and he's out of bounds at the 46. Jermaine looping it up for Miller. Too deep. I think they uh, hit the both four and four and This is Wiley trying to get loose. Jim we'll the there as a tight end. It is very quiet. Pretty good kick. 15 yard line. Grant eludes the first man. Yep. Penalty flag. He's out of bounds. Joe Dawkins. Inside. They're developing one right now. This Eric Latou may be the guy. There's another good effort. Basically, you have two big thumpers in there. And Saramelli, a fullback, and he gets it, and he hammers the left side of the line, and I don't think he made it. Maybe second effort got it. Might have. Number 94. Mitchell. Training again. Moore coming in and pick him up. Passes away. He's not going to get it back. Oh, my goodness. Ahmed Plummer's the touch. Third and nine. Thompson slips a little bit when he throws it. Shockey Fields is down there. The ball is intercepted by Ahmed Plummer. He got this one, but uh, he didn't get it on his feet. Oh, stop it. Come on, they need to be clean. He's supposed to be a football it. player for crying out loud. <laughs> can't go through the game without getting the riches, Gordy. <laughs> Remains passes away. He's got Miller wide open. Uh, he was hit as he threw it. And threatening from the 27 with Joe Montgomery. And tail back and Joe's got it. Keeps on pounding away. First. Got it again. Down to the two. Now let's see if they give it to him. Yep. Sean Lee. You can see how much his teammates like him. I mean, they go immediately to him. They're happy to have Joe score one. He had to be a gamer because the leg injury he recovered from was a tough one. Four plays, 61 yards in a minute and 17 seconds. The kick is good. At 3.08 to play third quarter, it's now Ohio State 28 and Penn State 9. the Buckeye. McCoo circles it at the seven. Oh, got a nice block in the middle and then it collapsed on him up around the 24 yard line. Well, Mitchell is the deep back. That's Nastasi. And it's a little delay to Mitchell and uh, by the time Cordell gets. And Barry Alvarez has done a great job up in Wisconsin. Second down, nine. Outside. Ain't nothing going on outside. And a couple of times he got him. So back goes Kevin again. Pressure coming and the pass is away down the sidelines and it's just too long out of a fifth kick of the day. Low line drive. Oh, that's bad news. If he handles it. He turns back into the pursuit and now they'll get it. On first down from the 38. Jermaine looking around all day and then runs out of time. Uh, second down and 13. This time he throws quickly to David Boston. Nice to see. Third down and four. Jermaine back throws quickly again to Boston and it goes through his hand. Got some air under this one. And it's going to roll a bit. Right, now he picks it up. Grant. Yeah, we've got to wait. Oh, 
in this kind of weather. I think so. Hand the ball off to Aaron Harris. Hawkeyes eat him up. Had no chance. Uh, Brent Johnson and uh, Joe Brown were all over it. We played three. It's 28-9. Buckeyes, we're back after this message and the word from our ABC station. The Nittany Lions are in the careful country. You got the ball that. Is back on the three-yard line. Thompson's going to throw it out of the end zone. Gets it off. And overthrows McCoo. Has the advantage because it's a wet, cold day, and this defense is aggressive. Pass. Look out. Incomplete. It's two. Now he gets it up. Line drive. Upfield. Rambo. Oh, if he bounces outside that time. Best starting position of the ball game for Ohio State. The pass thrown to D. Miller. Great play by Arrington. And a lot of people were getting on his case. Michael Wiley looking to get outside and uh, can't do it. Don't give him a uh, heck for taking those courses. The main pass is incomplete. To determine is he doesn't have that ability to think of himself as a second string quarterback. Fumble that snap from center and had to cover it. So on fourth and ten they were going for it. Richard Casey. Sophomore out of Hoboken, New Jersey, 6'1, 205. He's still in the seasoning process. Big arm lets it go. And it's too big. Pressed with uh, the Hoosiers playing uh, the Badgers. Uh, but, well, yeah. That, that tough. Casey's about to get a taste, uh, but they miss him, and then he pulls it down and takes off, and this is what he can do for Shark. He picked up the first down, and Casey turns, hands the ball off. This time it goes to two. So second down, and still about ten. Casey back. No. Nope. He, <laughs> he may bite you in a good way or in a bad way. Casey's still got clean bitches. Got the football. Rambo is waiting. Took his time. Oh, that's a good kick. Up into the raindrop. Kenyon Rambo. Dropped immediately. First down. Ball at the nine-yard line for Ohio State's Joe Montgomery. Back. <laughs> Second down and ten. Staying with the grand game. It's Michael Wiley and uh, Wiley. Our production manager, Amy Hussey. Jamar Martin is in the ball game. That's big freshman fullback. And he's got the ball. And he's out to the 30. This ball is handed to Michael Wiley. Well, we know we know some of the bad. I mean, the, the one everybody remembers. But tell us some about the girl. Well, I was in for to pop here. His mother write me a letter. He's from Tallahassee. Our computer stats. Hello, this is Michael Wiley. And Michael almost ran out of the grass. The moment you could have for a, a coach. And I don't know that I've ever heard anybody not. Woody so, Hayes. Whoever. From the 44. This is Wiley. Look out. Oh, he got a little tangled up with D. Miller. First down for the Buckeyes at the 45, just inside the 45 yard line. Here's Wiley again. And he'll get it down inside the 40. To the you didn't know what was west of the Hudson. <laughs> Ball comes squirting up. They're going to call him down. Got a great perspective. They do. They know exactly right. The main pass is he's hit just as it is thrown. Back up at quarterback, Mark Garcia. And you may see him. That's fair catch called at the nine yard line. To Richard Casey he is on at quarterback in relief of Kevin Thompson now. And the Lions have the ball first down at their own nine yard line. They hand that ball inside, and there's some room for Eric McCoo. Thing though, uh, tell a football team uh, where it's, you know, it's got all the tools. They yeah. can do it in a lot of different ways and uh, hold on to the book. football. Third down and two and oh, start. Hey, it starts on the offense, five yards, still third down. And he turns him loose. From the 12, Richard Casey fakes it, gets him Rudzinski in the air, gets, uh oh, that ball's out of bounds. <laughs> Gets it out of there. Low line drive. Rambo needs a little help. Got one. Needs another one. There it is. Oh. oh. From here. 
Art Garcia. He is a senior from Modesto, California. Blitz coming. They go after him. And the ball comes out. Arrington took it away. And Arrington has the ball. And a turnover right there. Nittany Lions takes possession at the 48-yard line. And Kaboo, they have Michigan at home. Last game of the season. Casey, who's yet to complete a pass, finally does. Casey slips a little bit, but gets his pass away, and it is incomplete. Corey Jones. That line, we thank you from the band, Keith. Can you get a sound out of that thing? <laughs> I don't think I can. I couldn't blow that. And he'll pitch it back. And here comes Jonathan West. Garcia pitches back again. And same fellow. Aaron the ball, Jonathan Wells. He <laughs> Losing to Notre Dame and to uh, Syracuse. Garcia rolls it out. Brendan Shorts after him and Mr. Short has him. Kentucky, a passing team. You see how they do against the pass. Kick is out. Low. A little bit of room here for the return. He slips a bit. It's Branch. And Branch gets up to about the 25. Where will you be? I'll be there, I hope. Yes, sir. This is Omar Easy. Look out. Yeah. A lot of schools were after him, too. So Joe didn't have the corner on him. He didn't, it wasn't a secret. I mean, Third down and four. Richard Casey puts it up. This is a very impressive showing. Now, Coop said uh, he could understand why they... Oh, this is a good kick. Good, he could understand why they uh, could lose a couple of points. And penalty flags are down there. And this is an impressive win here for... Um, uh, Derek Combs is the deep back now. Fresh legs with a clean shirt. In the backfield for Ohio State. He's got the ball. Now he can go to the laundry. What about the folks underneath it? Somebody said there were Penn State writers. I didn't see any. Paramedics didn't make a trip, so I guess they're the most valuable players for Penn State. LeVar Arrington, 12 tackles, a sack, two forced fumbles, and a fumble recovery. For Ohio State, D. Miller, six catches, 108 yards. A Chevrolet donation made to each school's general scholarship fund for these people. A Chevrolet tradition for more than a quarter of a century. And so it's final. Number one, Ohio State 28, Penn State 9. We hope you enjoyed it. Now here's a dry John Swanson.